If you watch my videos about investing before, you'll know that I'm a big believer in investing in ETFs instead of trying to pick individual stocks. But I also know that a lot of people out there actually want to just invest in a few individual shares. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five ASX stocks that you can buy and hold not just forever, but five ever. Now, I'm not going to mention any ETFs in this video, but you can check out my best ETFs video here and I'll leave a link in the description box down below. I also have a Vanguard specific ETF video that you can watch at the end of this video. But before we get started, please, please remember to do your own research because I'm just a guy on the internet and definitely not a financial advisor and definitely not an investment advisor. Also, it's very, very important to buy and hold the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. This will help me out tremendously and it's completely free to do. The first Aussie share to buy and hold forever is Commonwealth Bank of Australia, ticker symbol CBA. This is a pretty obvious choice because not only is CBA the biggest out of the big four banks by market cap, it's also one of the largest companies listed on the ASX full stop. The bank was founded all the way back in 1911 by the federal government. It was fully privatized in 1996 and now provides a variety of financial services, including retail, business, and institutional banking, along with wealth management, superannuation, insurance, and broking services. It also owns Bank West, which it bought back in 2008, and Aussie Home Loans. While Australia is Commonwealth Bank's biggest market, it also operates in New Zealand, the UK, Asia, and the USA. I know in the video title it says forever, but from a practical standpoint, we're going to be looking at CBA's share price over the last 10 years. During the last 10 years, its share price has increased from $50.35 to $96.58 as of filming this video. And for the 2020 financial year, it had a cash net profit of $7.3 billion. As always, remember that past performance is no guarantee of future results. So you might be wondering why I have Combank on the list and not the other three big banks. Well, from what I've seen, Combank is definitely the most innovative when it comes to technology. Their online banking was ranked number one by CanStar 11 years in a row. And their mobile banking was ranked number one by Roy Morgan Research. They've also made some strategic partnerships with tech companies such as Klarna and Big Commerce. And through their startup incubator called X15 Ventures, they've helped launch fintech startups such as Credit Savvy and Backup. I personally believe companies who are investing in technology are going to be the ones that will remain competitive and innovative in the future. And lastly, as a marketer, I'm a big fan of ComBank's branding strategy. In my personal opinion, it's definitely the most memorable out of the big four banks. But don't just take my word for it. In fact, Brand Finance Australia named CBA as the bank with the strongest brand in 2020 and 2021. When it comes to researching and selecting shares, it's important to not just focus on the positives. You have to also be aware of risks and challenges that a company may face. For ComBank, one potential risk is shifts in consumer behavior. For example, Gen Z are actively avoiding credit card debt and they're picking instead buy now, pay later options. This trend will make it more challenging for banks in general to build brand loyalty with younger customers. Another potential risk is Australia's insane housing market, which so far has actually helped boost mortgage lending for ComBank, but if the property market ever collapsed, then it would be a huge threat for all the banks in Australia. On a related note, did you know that Sydney and Melbourne both made it onto the list of the 10 most expensive cities around the world to buy property? Sydney landed at number three and Melbourne landed at number four. The next Aussie share you can buy and hold forever is Sonic Healthcare, ticker symbol SHL. Sonic Healthcare Limited is a medical company that specializes in diagnostic services. Specifically, the company provides pathology and laboratory medicine. So think genetic testing, blood tests, 
prenatal testing. It also provides imaging slash radiology services such as x-rays, CT scans, mammograms, and ultrasounds. Sonic Healthcare listed on the ASX back in 1987, and through a series of international acquisitions, it now operates in Australia, New Zealand, United States, United Kingdom, Germany, Switzerland, Belgium, and Ireland. In fact, it's the largest medical laboratory provider in Australasia and Europe, and the third largest in the US, and employs over 37,000 people all up. In the 2020 financial year, it generated $6.8 billion in revenue with a net profit of $528 million. And over the last 10 years, its share price has gone from $12.30 to $35.36, representing a 280% return, not including dividends. So why have I included Sonic Healthcare on my list of stocks to buy and hold forever? Well, it's because of Sonic Healthcare's scale and size, which will allow it to continue to keep growing and acquire more businesses, further consolidating its dominance in Australia, Europe, and the US. Another reason is that the aging population in the developed world is set to increase rapidly. With this trend means an increased need for testing, which means more revenue and business for Sonic Healthcare. Additionally, Sonic Healthcare was brought in to help the federal government with COVID vaccine rollouts in the aged care facilities after a bungle by the initial providers. This to me showcases the trust and reputation that Sonic has in Australia, as well as the company's ability to quickly pivot and adapt to unexpected challenges. Let's look at some of the potential risks that Sonic Healthcare might face. First one is new and disruptive technology. So the pandemic actually set off a wave of innovation in the diagnostic technology industry. Specifically, the invention and use of the rapid CRISPR tests. This new technology could potentially disrupt Sonic Healthcare's business in the future. Another risk to consider is Sonic's size and scale. While it's currently a huge benefit providing economies of scale and a global network, it could also backfire because the company could become less agile and more easily disrupted by startups. My third Aussie share you can buy and hold forever is Xero, ticker symbol XRO. Xero is a business and accounting software provider for small business owners, accountants, and bookkeepers. Xero listed on the Australian Stock Exchange in 2012, and it has a software as a service model, aka SaaS. It's headquartered in Wellington, New Zealand, and has quickly become the go-to option when it comes to accounting software, for small and medium sized businesses. In fact, in 2021, it has more than 2.74 million subscribers worldwide. Zero share price has skyrocketed in the last nine years from $5.50 all the way to $112.50 as of filming this video. This represents a massive 20X return. That means if you had invested, say, a thousand bucks Back in 2012, you, your shares will be worth a very cool $20,000 right now. Yeah! So why have I included Zero on this list of best Aussie shares to buy and hold? Well, the first reason is because of its SaaS model. One of the benefits of selling software through a SaaS model is the recurring revenue that it generates. The company can then use this steady flow of revenue to invest back into the business to increase its sales, increase its marketing, and attract more and more customers. The SaaS model is also beneficial to Xero's customers because they don't have to keep purchasing and keep upgrading the software. As long as they're paying for the subscription, they will receive the most up-to-date and latest version of the accounting software. Another reason why I picked Xero to be on this list is because of its integration with other business products. Zero has designed itself to be fully integrated with other business software such as Salesforce, PayPal, MailChimp, Stripe, and many, many more. This integration means that Zero's customers are less likely to switch to another software provider because of the time and cost that it will take for them to make that switch. And lastly, Zero is investing in technology, specifically machine learning, AI, and automation. 
All of these investments will help customers speed up their tasks and ultimately save them time so that they can focus on their small and medium businesses. In terms of risk, the main one that Xero faces would be from its competitors. The accounting software space is actually pretty crowded with established companies such as Intuit, Oracle, and even Microsoft, as well as lesser known startups such as FreshBooks. And my number four best Aussie share to buy and hold is West Farmers, ticker symbol WES. West Farmers Limited is a conglomerate with businesses in Australia and New Zealand across the retail, industrial and chemical sector. It was founded back in 1914 as the Western Australian Farmers Cooperative and has now become the biggest employer in Australia with well-known Aussie brands such as Bunnings, Officeworks, Kmart, Target and Catch.com.au. It also has stakes in Coles and Flybys. In the last 10 years, West Farmer's share price has grown from $23.95 to $54.20 as of filming this video, which translates to a 226% return, not including dividends. The first reason why I picked West Farmers to be in this video is the diversity of its businesses. It has lots and lots of different businesses in the retail sector, industrial sector, and chemical sector. The second reason is West Farmer's ability to adapt to the future. You have to remember that when it listed on the ASX in 1984, it was just a farmer's co-op. It's transformed into a very diversified business. In fact, in recent years, it's acquired online e-commerce brand Catch, and more recently, Kidman Resources, which is a producer of lithium, the very hot commodity that is required for production of electric vehicles such as Tesla. In terms of risk, West Farmer is actually considered a blue chip share and a defensive stock. Wait, what's a defensive stock? Defensive stocks are companies that are generally protected from economic downturns and the company decline in spending because they provide goods and services that are considered necessities. And my last pick for the best Aussie stock to buy and hold forever is Woolies. Ticker symbol, wow. 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 The Woolies group consists of several businesses, including obviously Woolworths, Big W, and Countdown, which operates 181 stores in New Zealand. As of filming this video, Woolworths has actually proposed a demerger of its drinks and hospitality division called Endeavour Group. Endeavour Group consists of BWS, Dan Murphy's, as well as a whole portfolio of hotels across Australia. If the demerger is completed and approved, then Woolworths Group will actually own 14.6% of Endeavour Group. In the last 10 years, Woolworths share price has gone from $27.41 to $40.68, which translates into a 148% return, not including dividends. So why have I included WOW in this video? Well, the first reason is that it's a defensive stock. And the pandemic showed us that even in the worst of times, we will always need toilet paper and pasta sauce. Both of these items which are readily available now at Woolies. On a more serious note, another reason why I've picked Woolies is because they've been innovating ever since they were founded back in 1924. In fact, Woolies became the first variety store in the world to install receipt printing cash register machines in 1926. Fast forward to today and Woolies is still investing and innovating. In fact, in April 2021, they spent $223 million to increase their ownership of data science firm Quantinum to 75%. And a month later, they commenced construction of a $1.2 billion distribution center in Moorbank. Now you might be wondering, why didn't I pick Coles instead? Well, one reason is that Woolies is outpacing Coles in terms of online sales. And I personally believe that online sales will be a growth driver for supermarkets over the next few years. During its March 2021 quarter, its online sales grew by a massive 64% to 
billion Australian dollars. This means that online orders made up nearly 8% of total supermarket sales for Woolies. On the other hand, Coles only saw a 49% growth in online sales for the quarter, which represented 5.5% uh, of their total supermarket sales. Now, this isn't small by any means, but it does show that Woolies is outpacing in terms of online sales. Additionally, Woolies is still currently Australia's largest supermarket chain, and it has beaten Coles in a variety of surveys and rankings in the last few years. As always, thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. Let me know in the comments below if you have any thoughts on the five shares that I've mentioned in this video. Do you agree, disagree, or maybe you think shares are for boomers and crypto is king? As always, an important disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice. This video and my channel is for general information only. As with anything in life, you should do your own due diligence and seek independent advice.